so we have some idea about the universe and its sub levels and how universe is classified into various uh, sub branches like galaxies milky ways planets and all so about each and everything we have to have the details here first we'll start our journey with the universe what is universe so as i told you universe when universe was first formed how it is formed means there was the materialistic particles so these are the materialistic particles and there is a gas and it is flowing hugely that means it includes various forms of energy and the matter so there are two forms of energies in the universe of course you can think of if the universe has the different bodies some are luminous some are non luminous luminous bodies are nothing but the stars which produce the light so light is one form of energy and the matter matter contained in them is one form of energy matter and light light is a form of energy that is the reason in broad we are writing it includes various forms of energy at least two material components so energy and the materialistic components so these are the composition of universe universe is broader out of everything astronomical aspect the maximum is universe from the universe different things can be categorized and now it has two materialistic components i said energy plus two materialistic components and what are the materialistic components means you have to have a matter so matter can be it is composed of microscopic solid particles as i have drawn here there are particles there are particles which are microscopic and it is composed of microscopic particles that is called as interplanetary dust that means in the universe as i said you have planets you have stars you have moon so many other things and here between these planets between the two successive planets or between all the planets whatever the space that is filled by means of some microscopic solid particles which are called as interplanetary dust that is a materialistic component that is at least two materialistic components i said material components material components means matter present in that so interplanetary dust is composed of microscopic solid particles and the second material component is interplanetary gas gas is also a matter matter can be in three forms one is solid liquid and gas gas is also a matter form so one of the forms of a matter that is the reason at least two i said so you can have the solid particles and you can have the huge flow of gas and charged particle so gas gas is flowing and you have the atmosphere you have the uh, i mean materialistic particles moving with the greater speeds so you have the huge flow of gas and charged particles this is what called as interplanetary gas so as a whole you can think of universe is made of two major thing one is energy the other one is material components and material components i am categorizing into at least two i said not only two sir it is at least two at least two in the sense these are the two i have just taken and now once we come to the sub level of the universe stars moon planets and other objects in the sky form galaxy that means the major components of galaxy are these things and as i told you you have 100 billions of galaxies in the universe there are so many galaxies and we are categorizing based upon the planets available planets moon and their motion depending upon the various characteristics you are categorizing the galaxies into various different groups and here out of these many galaxies earth is also a part of one of the galaxies so the galaxy in which earth is a part is called as milky way so according to our vedic notation we are calling this as akash ganga so this is the 
other name given but generally milky way is much familiar the galaxy in which our earth is a part is called as milky way so how is this milky way how is this milky way means there is a bulge there is a bulge at the center and here there are spirals so spirals are going around like this so and there are spirals over here and you can look at the animation you can look at the image shown in the picture below so from that picture you can have the assessment of how these spirals are so this is how it is spiral and there is a center and now milky way shape of milky way is a spiral shaped with bulge at the center and whenever you are studying about the celestial bodies celestial bodies are nothing but one of the components of galaxies that means galaxies have innumerable stars and celestial bodies we said so celestial bodies are nothing but uh, part of the galaxies and when you are studying about these celestial bodies it comes under astronomy so the scientists who study about this astronomy are called as astronomers astronomers explore this astronomy so here this is how the galaxy is and galaxy can be further subdivided into the solar systems and what are the various components of the solar system and all we are to look at so for time being you just have a knowledge of universe and galaxy over here so this is the these are the major parts about the universe and these are the points which you need to remember about the galaxy